coming together of both state and monarchy. Pope Paul VI, supreme head of the Catholic Church throughout the world, arrives in Venice before flying on to the Italian National Eucharistic Congress. The Pope, of course, is not only a magnet to the faithful, people of all denominations come in their thousands to see him, to listen to him, and to pray with him. In his speech, the Holy Father said, Venice is one of the key cities in the history of civilization. He ended by referring to modern air and water pollution, stressing that Venice must live. In fact, unless something drastic is done, Venice will die in the foreseeable future, drowned in the waters which surround it. traditional Venetian regatta could even become a memory of the past. The origins of the regatta, which began 700 years ago, were the annual rowing competitions, jousting and other water sports. Most of these boats were originally used for carrying produce to the markets of Venice. At last, the historic procession ends. If Venice is allowed to slowly disappear into obscurity, the world will be the loser. One of London's best-known eating houses is famous